Hello friends, today we are discussing about the topic nucleotide sequence databases. As we know that database is a storage of biological data in electronic format, this nucleic acid database is a repository of three-dimensional structural information about nucleic acids and serves as a resource for research and education. The databases EMBL, GenBank and DDBJ are the three primary nucleotide sequence databases. They include sequence submitted directly by scientists and genome sequencing group and sequence taken from literature and patents. There is comparatively little error checking and there is a fair amount of redundancy. The main objectives of nucleic acid databases are uh, the main purpose of the sequence database is information storage and their retrieval. As we know that the database its main function is the information storage and also their retrieval and it provides a wealth of information to molecular biologists, provides a unique opportunity for the computer analysis of available sequences, facilitate comparisons with newly determined sequences, and these databases act as a source of data for the generation and testing of hypotheses related to molecular sequence and evolution. The first one is the EMBL, that is the European Molecular Biology Laboratory and it's a good to use when you need a limited amount of data and when you are not trying to identify genes by sequence analysis. However, because EMBL and all its uh, mirror sites are located in Europe, the uh, our connection will be slow more often than not. That's EMBL, uh, also the name suggests that it's located and it's come from Germany. The European Molecular Biology Laboratory is a molecular biology uh, research institution supported by 27 member states and two prospect states and two associate member states that the two associate member states are Argentina and Australia. EMBL was created in 1974 and is an intergovernmental organization funded by public research money from its member states. Research at EMBL is conducted by approximately 85 independent groups covering the spectrum of molecular biology. That is, the EMBL is an intergovernmental organization and specializing in basic research in the life sciences and it is funded by public research monies from the more than 25 member states and it includes uh, much of Europe and Israel and two associate members that is Argentina and Australia. EMBL is led by the Director General, currently the Professor Edith Heard, and he is appointed by the governing body, uh, that is EMBL Council. The Council is comprised of representatives of all member and associate member states. And its missions. The core stones of EMBL mission are to perform basic research in molecular biology and train scientists, students and visitors at all levels offer vital services to scientists in the member states, develop new instruments and methods, actively engage in technology transfer and to integrate European life science research. And its aim to collect and present nucleotide sequence and annotation with the comprehensive global coverage and to integrate nucleotide sequence and annotation into the wealth of bioinformatics resource uh, also offered at the EBI and elsewhere. And SS points to EMBL nucleotide sequence database data includes SRS homology search tools, the sequence version archive that is SVA, the FTP site and the genome web server and the sequence retrieval by accession number. And these facilities uh, facilities offer a wide range of opportunities to search and download data. Next one is the GenBank. GenBank is established by the National Center for Biotechnology Information, that is NCBI. It is basically a collection of all known DNA sequences from scientists around the world. It continues to grow and doubling every 18 months. GenBank is built by direct, direct submissions of bases from individual laboratories as well as uh, from bulk submissions from large-scale sequencing. For most sequence searches, GenBank is the best source. It offers an exchange of information with other major sequence databases on a daily routine. Submission of data can be done with a variety of search tools. The first thing is to use WW browser and it can be submitted via 
ബാങ്കിഡ് സിക്യൂർ സബ്മിഷൻ ടൂൾ അറ്റ് എൻ സി ബി ഐ വെബ്സൈറ്റ് മീൻസ് ഓഫ് സെർച്ചിങ് ജിയൻ ബാങ്ക് ഇൻക്ലൂഡ് ബ്ലാസ്റ്റ് ദറ്റ് ഈസ് ബേസിക് ലോക്കൽ അലൈൻമെൻറ്റ് സെർച്ച് ടൂൾ ഡി ബി ഇ എസ് ടി ഡാറ്റാ ബേസ് എക്സ്പ്രസ് സീക്വൻസ് ടാഗ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഡി ബി എസ് ടി എസ് ഡാറ്റാ ബേസ് സീക്വൻസ് ടാഗ്ഡ് സൈറ്റ്സ് ജൻ ബാങ്ക് ഈസ് ദ മോസ്റ്റ് കംപ്ലീറ്റ് കളക്ഷൻ ഓഫ് അനോട്ടഡ് ന്യൂക്ലിക് ആസിഡ് സീക്വൻസ് ഡാറ്റ ഫോർ ഓൾമോസ്റ്റ് എവറി ഓർഗാനിസം ദ കണ്ടൻറ്റ് ഇൻക്ലൂഡ്സ് ജീനോമിക് ഡി എൻ എ എം ആർ എൻ എ സി ഡി എൻ എ ഇ എസ് ടി എസ് ഹൈ ത്രൂ ഹൈ ത്രോപുട്ട് റോ സീക്വൻസ് ഡാറ്റ ആൻഡ് സീക്വൻസ് പോളിമോഫിസംസ് ദർ ഇസ് ഓൾസോ എ ജൻ പെപ്റ്റ് ഡാറ്റാ ബേസ് ഫോർ പ്രോട്ടീൻ സീക്വൻസസ് ദ മെജോറിറ്റി ഓഫ് വിച്ച് ആർ കൺസെപ്റ്റൽ ട്രാൻസ്ലേഷൻസ് ഫ്രം ഡി എൻ എ സീക്വൻസസ് ഓൾ ദോ എ സ്മോൾ നമ്പർ ഓഫ് അമിനോ ആസിഡ് സീക്വൻസസ് ആർ ഡ്രൈവ്ഡ് യൂസിംഗ് പെപ്റ്റഡ് സീക്വൻസിംഗ് ടെക്നിക്സ് because of its popularity however genbank can also be very slow during peak research hours and it were very detailed searches uh, or searches with massive amounts of output might be completed more quickly after hours established by the national center for biotechnology information genbank is a collection of all known dna sequences from scientists around the world and the main advantage of genbank is the genbank database is designed to provide and encourage access to the most up to date comprehensive dna sequence information and the drawbacks are data submitters may claim copyright of all or a portion of the data they have submitted but ncba is not in a position to access the validity because of popularity genbank can also be very slow during peak hours how to search in genbank there are two ways to search uh, for sequence in genbank one is using text based keywords similar to a pubmed search the other is using molecular sequences to search by sequence similarity using blast structure of genbank entries the most important source of data for genbank is direct submission from scientists there are several options for submitting data to genbank they are bank it NCBI has developed a WW form called Bankit for convenient and quick submission of sequence data. Bankit allows entering sequence information into a form, editing as necessary and adding a biological annotation. Bankit transforms data into GenBank format for review and when record is completed, it can submit it directly to GenBank. Bankit is compatible with Netscape clients for Unix, Macs and PCs. In addition, Internet Explorer for the PC and Mac has successfully fully been used next one is second second is an interactive graphically oriented program based on screen forms and controlled vocabularies that guides through the uh, process of entering sequence and providing biological and bibliographic annotation second is designed to simplify the sequence submission process and to provide graphical viewing and editing options it incorporates robust error checking and accommodates very long sequences and complex complex annotations this is stand alone software for the mac pcs windows and unix and the next one is second macro send This tool was designed for uploading large sequence files directly to GenBank rather than sending large email attachments from standalone Sekin. The information is simply filled in on the Sekin macro send form. The uploads the sequence file and the submission will be sent directly to the GenBank submission staff. Next one is TBL2 ASN. TBL2 ASN is a command line program that automates the creation of sequence records for submission to genbank using many of the same function as sequin it is pri- it is used primarily for submission of complete genomes and large batches of sequences and genbank data format each genbank entry includes a concise description of the sequence the scientific name and the taxonomy of the source of organism source organism and a table of features that identifies coding region and other sites of biological significance such as transcription unit sites of mutation or modifications and repeats protein translations for coding regions are included in the feature table bibliographic references are all included along with the link to the medline unique identifier for all published sequence each sequence entry is composed of lines different types of lines each with their own format and are used to record the various data that make up the entry 
here is the general structure of gen bank entry the first one is the locus the locus name is unique to each organism the first three characters usually designed designated uh, the organism the fourth and the fifth characters were used to show uh, other group designations such as gene product uh, for segmented entries the last character was one of series of sequential integers Next one is definition. Definition is the brief description of sequence. It includes information such as source, organism, gene name, protein name or some description of the sequence's function. If the sequence is coding region that is CDS, description may be followed by completeness qualifier such as complete CDS. Next one is assertion. A session number is a unique identifier for a sequence record. In this record, uh, the accession number do not change and even if the information in the record is changed at the author's request. Next one is the version. Version is a nucleated sequence identification number that represents uh, a single specific sequence in the GenBank database. If there is any change to the sequence data, the version number will be increased. Next one is the DB source. DB source shows the source, the date of creation and the last modification of the database entry. Next one is the keyword. Keywords uh, for the entry. That is the keyword or, uh, or phrase describing the sequence. Authors, authors for the work. The list of authors in the order in which they appear in the cited art article title the title of the publication and journal general reference for the entry medline uh, that is the medline id comment uh, lines of comments source organism source uh, source is the free format information including an abbreviated form of the organism name sometimes allowed by a molecular type and organism uh, the for formal scientific name for the source organism that and its lineage based on the phylogenetic classification scheme used in the NCBI taxonomy database and uh, all this all this of the of the sequence that is it uh, includes maximum of 80 characters accession uh, it is the ID number of the sequence a maximum of 80 characters and features uh, features of the sequence origin uh, beginning of sequence data and last end of sequence data here is the uh, sample of a gen bank here we can see the locus definition assertion version keywords source organism reference or the title and etc next one is the unigene here is the unigene structure it is the information on tissue types and map locations it includes well characterized genes and novel is ESTS useful for gene discovery and selection of mapping reagents Megablast based automated sequence clustering. Unigen is the NCBI database of the transcriptome and thus despite the name not primarily a database for genes. Each entry is a set of transcripts that appear to stem for, from the same transcription locus that is gene or expressed pseudogene. Information on protein similarities, gene expression, cDNA clones and genomic location is included with each entry. Unigene is an experimental system for automatically partitioning gen bank sequences into a non-redundant set of gene-oriented clusters. Each unigene cluster contains sequences that represent a unique gene as well as related information such as tissue types in which the org gene has been expressed and map location. In addition to sequences of well characterized genes, hundreds of thousands novel expressed sequence tag that is EST. No, uh, EST is the expressed sequence tag. Sequence have been uh, included. Consequently, the collection may be of the use of uh, use to the community as the resource for gene discovery. Unigen has also been used by experimentalists to select reagents for the gene mapping projects and large-scale expression analysis. However, it should be noted that the procedures for automated sequence clustering are still under development and the results may change from you know, time to time as improvements are made. Feedback from users have been especially useful in identifying problems and they encourage us to report any problems that we encounter. Hope you understand the topic. Thank you.